Oh, oh hammocks. You like hammocks. There we go. Hey. Yeah, there's Lisa. All right. Share the stream out, guys. We got a little there bit of a... There we go. Hey. Got a yeah, little surprise. Lisa. All right. Share oh. the stream out. There we go. We got a little surprise, surprise for everybody. Hey, live chat. Hey, Maria. How you doing? We got a really cool, cool thing to show you guys. A little last minute here. Hey, Maria. How you how is everybody doing? We're showing you an awesome, awesome vacation rental here in Orlando called the Great Escape Parkside. It's here, right, right here in Orlando. There you go. <laughs> it's got all sorts of things. We're starting on the porch, like a good old southern house. Hey, guys. How you doing? Hey, Matt. So we're having a great day. Did some content this morning, and we're going to get started and show you this amazing property. This is awesome it's a it's it's a florida house a little asian house rob swinging on the porch come on baby we gotta do the tour like cribs all right we're gonna come in here and this whole theme of this amazing property is games for the ultimate gamer in you so it'll be amazing so this is called great escape parkside the list and everything all the information is in the link in the description box and that has like the website and all of that good stuff so let me know if you guys want to see anything, but this is right at the beginning. You'll have a big a giant magnetic Scrabble board right here. Um, yeah, you got this game right here, Mancala. So games everywhere. So this is kind of like the foyer. And here's the beginning of the telephone game. There's many, many hidden, not so hidden phones all around the property, of course. And of course, Follow us. <laughs> your name will be here with your family, your group. This is a ginormous property. If you, here's the little looky looky here. It has 15 bedrooms. It's, you can fit up to 50 people here. So big family um, gatherings, reunions. You can also have um, carpet events, anything. These, this property is amazing. Like this is a staycation. Like you're going to stay here and go through every game and you still won't get through every single game. There's so much going on here. So there's a giant, giant floor chess board right here. Naked chess. I guess if you want to do that, you can. Um, the outdoor is amazing too. So abs. Yes. We'll show you that in a minute. And then of course, this is a, one of the world's, uh, one of the, the largest, world's largest printed maze. Grab yourself a little expo marker, start there and try to solve it. Um, then this is um, through Orlando Luxury Rentals. They have several other properties called like, there's the Ever After Estate, there's a Sweet Escape, there's a bunch of different properties. Check out the, the website down below and you can see all the different properties they have. As you can already see, there's a giant movie theater right there and everything. So we're start off kind of on the first floor, little game shop, little bathroom. Rob's going to show you this chair looks kind of scary. Don't be scared. Weeble wobble, weeble wobble. Get it, baby. Get it. Wee. Lean back. Lean back. Wee. <laughs> I had to get going again. Yeah, you got to get going. You got to get, it looks kind of scary, but it's actually not. You just got to lean it. You put your back into it. Wee. Put your back into it. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this beautiful kitchen. Two refrigerators. It's all set up for you. Like I'm saying, a lot of fridges. We can cook, have a good party. 
Um, we do play with our food. It's all, all, even the tiniest little details are amazing. All games, from board games to video games, you name it, they have it. Two fridges, of course. And of course, they only accept deliveries from Domino's. From Domino's, but um, bum, ch -ch puns everywhere. Plenty of parking. It's on 10 acres, you guys. There's even outdoor games. You get a Keurig and a regular coffee maker. And the other fridge, of course. Vertical chess game. Rob loves this one because it's a great way to display, right? Your pieces. Store and display. Store and display. Yeah. So there's so many things. Hey, guys, how you doing? Rob is uh, yeah, in a big dining room. I mean, it's all just different games. Stuff on the wall is a game as well. Yeah, Rob might steal that idea. This is Spot the Difference game right in this front hallway, right off the kitchen. You've got three bedrooms right here. So all these photos are games as well. So we're going to start off with the first escape room in here. And this is the risk room. So every room is totally themed, you guys. So it's all the game risk. So this is also the only... Um, what is it called? It's competitive. a competitive escape room. It's all set up, all theming. Of course, you can remove it when you're sleeping. There's 15 bedrooms, 13 bathrooms. It's a huge, huge house. Check out the website. It has all the FAQs, wall games. There's so much stuff going on. I mean, and then also, there's a lot of stuff within the house that can save you money on your next stay. Like, if you solve this puzzle, 50 bucks off. If you solve this puzzle, 50 bucks off. So, it's kind of cool. There's little QR codes, all the things. You sunk my battleship. So, there's a lot of real... There's even bathroom Sudoku, you guys. But look at the cool porthole mirror. See, Peter needs that. And there are two teams. So, this is the blue team's room. And then there's a Jack and Jill bathroom right here. And then you're going into the Stratego room. This is the red team. So all you do is press your remote. It's a Roku remote. And you go right in there and it activates an escape room. You have 60 minutes. So this is a Stratego room. And this is the only one that you compete with each other. Like the red team versus the blue team. And whoever gets out first wins. As you can see, lots and lots of bunk beds. You sunk my battleship. Yep. So this is the first, well, two escape rooms. Two rooms. And then this is a really, really, really cool game. So if you're in a game room, it's the, like, Family Feud, Who Wants a Millionaire, um, obviously, Deal or No Deal. So you come right in here. This is amazing. Hey, there's Alec. And this is this room. It's so amazing. Oh, we got the whole thing with all the dollar dollar bills, y'all. Dollar dollar bills. Remotes are right here. There's game consoles in every room. There's usually a video game also. But this is the uh, deal or no deal like game show room. Every single bedroom is themed and so, so amazing. And then you've got the dressing room. They even like hold you in here. Yeah, the floor is so cool. Look at this. And it's a Bluetooth mirror, so you can hook it up to your phone. Super duper cool. This is like your green room, your dressing room. There's even a hot seat, the applause button, and look at the shower. Rob, I think you, should, you would love the shower. It's gorgeous. It's got the rain for, rainfall, beautiful, beautiful, immaculate, a giant tub if you want to be in the tub, <laughs> you know. And this is the hot seat. It's a heated bidet. So if you need to phone a friend, oh, look, it's a total, it's another hidden phone in here. So you could play, keep playing that telephone game. There's a bunch of different telephones all over the house that you could call. There is a way to play the telephone game. So you start off with a phrase and then go from there. But it's got a heated bidet, you guys. Isn't that awesome? Warm up your tushy. <laughs> and there you go. Yes, that sunken headboard is gorgeous. I do like the bed frame. We need one of these, honey. It's it's so cool. I love it. Absolutely. So this is the game room. So you got your three bedrooms right off the bat on the first floor. Just right off the kitchen. Again, here's another back view of that. Dining room. Little... Um, pool bathroom because it goes outside to the pool. So it's kind of like a Chinese checkers, Chinese game shop themed. Everything down to the smallest detail is all thought of so perfectly. It's just gorgeous. Gorgeous. 
And of course, we've got this giant hallway over here too with more rooms. So we'll get there in a minute. But there's also a Vegas, there's more games right here. <laughs> we'll go into the Vegas room. This one has an awesome Vegas themed room. So if you've been to Vegas, there's the strip at night. Lucky 777. Got a couple of slot machines in here. Awesome bedroom. Hi, how are you guys doing? Perfect. This is the Vegas room. So you feel like you're in Las Vegas. It looks just like every Las Vegas hotel room. Don't get me wrong. Look how cute. I, I need one of these, honey. We need one of these like faux fireplaces. I just think it's cool. Remotes are all here. There's QR codes. There's books. So everything you need to know, they'll make sure. And the games are all free. Except for the one upstairs. There's only one game that isn't free. They can put quarters in it. But they'll refund it to you when you leave. All the games are free. You can totally use it. So, it is so, so fun. Hey, Holly, how you doing? So, we are here at Great Escape Parkside. It's basically all game themed. They're inside the Vegas bathroom. Look how cool. It is sparkly. All the bathrooms are immaculate marble. Just like you're at the MGM Grand. You got all these high rollers here. Rounders, excellent movie. But yet, down to every little detail. The Royal Flush bathroom. Ba -dum -bum. Even to the ceiling, you guys. So it's awesome. So cute. Very Vegas. I'm not so good at the gambling gambly. See? Not good. Not good. <laughs> I'd much rather shop at Caesars, you know. And you got a little roulette action here. So cute. Dollar dollar bills. And you can play roulette right here. All right. The best part of the first floor is this awesome theater. You can get popcorn. They have their own movie theater, you guys. It's playing like the original Jumanji and Jumanji 2. So you can even use that and get the popcorn going if you like and set it up like a full concession stand if you want to. So you have the whole movie feel with the family. But we are here at the movie theater. Guys, and then, oh, fancy that, another telephone. Yeah, I don't know if you can, you can see pretty good, right? I mean, the lights are right here. We had to dim the house lights because we are in a movie theater, but I'll turn it up just for the tour. There's like all of these, read everything. Oh, hey, <laughs> fancy that. So you've got, and of course there's the rock. Do we smell what the rock is cooking? I love all of the sconces because they're just like fireless. There's a PS5 down there too. So this is probably where you'd find Rob just sitting here, not moving for hours and watching a movie. But yeah, there's a whole movie theater with all of these recliners. Very cold in here. Plenty of blankets. They supply all the blankets, the pillows, obviously all of that towels for the pool, everything. So it does get a little chilly in here. It's actually like very chilly right now. But this is the awesome, awesome Jumanji room. It's the theater. So, very cool. And another phone. <laughs> All right, down the big giant hallway here, as we notice, every single poster is game themed. Look for all the different games in the rooms because, again, you can save money on your next visit if you solve the puzzles. Can you get out in their 60 minutes? So this is the main escape room out of this house. Yes, this house has two escape rooms, not just one. Well, three if you three count. Three if you it. count, two yeah. Two so ones. three total. It's like a competitive escape room, the one that we saw in the Risk in the Stratego room, of course. So very, very cool. But we're going into Clue is like my favorite board game. And we need to play it because we just don't. <laughs> I used to play it as a kid. I have very fond memories of it. But this is, my thing, my favorite room in the house. I love the clue room. I would totally stay here because I love this game. Can you solve the murder? Who killed John Body? So there you go. Welcome to the clue me in room, Le Closet. And, of course, it's very, like, brocade, jacquard fabrics. You've got wainscoting. Crown molding, very old fashioned. And of course, you've got all of these with your markers to keep track. So, and this is great. It's an escape room. So it's a, a clue themed escape room. And then we're going into the laboratory and you have all your suspects, you know, Mr. Green, Miss Scarlet, 
Cluedo, actually, in other countries, especially Asia, my very first Cluedo clue game was Cluedo. And that was in the Philippines. My grandparents bought me that game. I remember that. And I guess it must be like a copyright thing. I don't know, but I think in other countries they call it Cluedo. So there you go, Mrs. White. And she was replaced in 2016 by Dr. Orchid. I'm like, boo. <laughs> you know? Every bathroom, again, is super duper themed. Hey, y'all. There we go. And there's Colonel Mustard. Hmm. And then here's the second clue bedroom. This is still all part of the escape room. So, yes, Cluedo. The locking. Yes, you got to lock everything in down. <laughs> we got clocks. We got all the usual suspects. Or a clue movie. Yeah, that was pretty good. And you have this guy over here, and it tells you the game. So, when in doubt, I mean, there's a binder, there's a QR code for everything, but it tells you how to play the game. Also, you watch the video from the TV, you just go to the Roku, it's a Roku remote, and you go right in there, and you see all the weapons. I love this room. The theming is just crazy. Of course, you get the wrench, lead pipe, rope, revolver, um, knife, and the candlestick. Phone. Oh, look at that. Another phone. Ding-a-ling-ling. Ding-a-ling-ling. So, there you go. Very cool. I just love this whole room. It's super cool. Very, very neat. Mm -hmm. So, so many artifacts. So much stuff. But, yeah. Le Mort Arthur. The Death of Arthur. But anything could be a clue, of course. Anything could be a clue. But so these two rooms are the giant escape room. Very fun. I would definitely do that first. But like you could do that after dinner. Play all of these different games. There's phone numbers up there. Like look at everything with escape rooms. Every single poster, like I said, is game themed. It's pretty awesome. And then down here, we just have like two washer and dryers. Actually, two, wasn't it? Oh, that was on the other side? No, it's, on no, the other it's, side, it's yeah. in here, yeah. It's, so it's, this it's is like first staff only, but this is uh, two, more bed two more bedrooms. This is the Monopoly room. As you can see, it's a Monopoly guy. And look at this. Everything is just like the game. The game pieces. It is basically a whole mon There's a Monopoly game right here. And go straight to jail. Do not collect $200. So the theming is amazing. But this is the Monopoly room. Kentucky Avenue, 220. And then, of course, the bathroom, again, is all themed. Subway tile. It is down to every single detail. It's kind of crazy. So much fun. And then Rob loves this uh, Scrabble room. So my mom used to love Scrabble. That was oh, like... Oh, no, they've got the, the oh. 2019 Scrabble Championship playing on the... Oh, table. gotcha. So here you go. There's... Stuff the clues on the carpet and it's all Scrabble tile on the floor. But again, here's another Scrabble game. If you solve the phrase that's on the wall with the tiles, you get 50 bucks off. And then you could do so many. There's another one in the bathroom too. So you could rack up 50, 50, 50. You could be taken off so much on your next visit. But every room is themed. And this is your Scrabble bedroom, of course. Welcome to the Scrabble bedroom. It is awesome. Hey, y'all. Just trying to be quick so we don't run, you know, we get through it. There's a lot of house to go. But the bathroom, again, themed. And there's another puzzle in here. So if you solve this one too, you get another 50 bucks off your stay. It ends up, what did we say? It was like $45 per person. If you end up, if you, pack the place. if you pack the place, you know what I mean? But this is one of those great for big family reunions. It has 15 bedrooms, 13 bathrooms. Um, you also have, obviously, back here is more like utilities. Like, you have two washer and dryers. All the, all the towels are provided for you for the pool washer, dryer. Chutes and ladders room also, actually. This is all chutes and ladder themed. So, pods, everything is provided for you if you need to do laundry. All of that, perfect. So that's basically all here for you. And we'll go back down the big long hallway. So you know it's it's a vacation home. You're you're staycationing here. So if you love games, I mean, 
you can spend hours and days in here and probably not play every single game, you know. Check out that website. It's greatescapeparkside.com. So this is the first floor, and we'll go head up upstairs. There's one room you have in Well, oh my gosh, the dungeon. There's a cupboard under the stairs. You can even be like, what's the password? Cupboard under the stairs. So this room is basically a Dungeons and Dragons meet Minecraft room. Hey girl, hey. So this is perfect for kids or very late sleepers. There are no windows in this bedroom, but this is for somebody who loves this. Probably a couple of kids, teenagers, somebody doesn't want to be bothered by anybody. Wi-Fi is free through the house, all of that stuff. But look, we've got a dragon. Is that smoggy smog? Hey, Pugs, how are you? But it's a DD and d Minecraft kind of room. And then you can sleep two people in here or one. But there's a... Are you over? Oh, yeah, I can stand. Kind of stand. I'm not short, but I am short. But, yeah, probably a couple kids, teenagers could sleep in here. But it's very cute, very fun. It's the covered under the stairs room. <laughs> That'll be great. All right, now we're going to go ahead upstairs, you guys. So much fun. So much fun. So it's the Marable Midway. So we got lots of games. Even as you go upstairs, Plinko. We just slide them pieces out. And play Plinko. Fun. The karaoke machine is on. You're ready to rock it out for Rob. So even everything. And they've got some... Carnival mirrors. Look, I look crazy in this one. Look at them little, little legs, little legs, little legs. And then this one, I just look crazy. It's like a fun house mirror. So, lots of fun. And then this one has Henri. He's like Zoltar's cousin from France. So, they hang out. And they have all of these games up here, you guys. Um, yeah, it's a whole arcade in the house, you guys crazy day the karaoke is blasting i was like oh boy all right <laughs> want to turn them all on honey or oh there we go there we go so you just turn on there we go. arm wrestling game whack-a-mole it's like a whole arcade you guys ice game you can whack the moles. Hey, Susan. Rob is, and then they have a Game of Thrones. So that's why there's all these different throne seats also. And there's a game in this mirror. And actually, when you play it, touch here to start. It takes your picture, and then you can email it to yourself. Isn't that awesome? Yes, exactly. Have a great time. There's more bedrooms, more thrones. This is like Speed of Light. It's like a giant newer whack-a-mole game. Super fun. And here's another one I turn on. Air hockey, which is my favorite thing in the whole wide world. We were playing it earlier. How do you turn it back on? <laughs> We got Stand a Bottle. We got even like arcade games, you know, Stand a Bottle. You got Tic Tac Toe. You got a Ring Toss. Just like you're at a carnival. You got your own carnival here. Up. Oh. I don't know how to turn it on. How do you turn it on, Rob? There's your button. I had it on earlier. Oh, Rob, got to turn it on for us. Yep. I don't know how to turn it on. <laughs> I turned it off. Oh, there we go. Little air hockey. Fun fact, Rob. Oh, there we go. I love air hockey.
Yes, we got more whack-a-mole. This is karaoke right here. And then, all right, let's check out some of these bedrooms. Here's the Lego room. There we go. We got Legos, more Legos, and more Legos right here. It's super themed. They super themed. We got all Legos all over, all over the floor. So crazy. Everything is awesome. Uh, we got Henri. It's like a Zoltar machine. We got a Pac-Man room in here. Check this out. Miss Pac-Man room. Isn't this awesome? Miss Pac-Man. It's all Miss Pac-Man out. So this is called the Great Escape um, Parkside. This is in Groblin. It's it's in like Claremont. So it it's about 30-ish minutes from Disney World. Check out the website down below. It's a vacation rental. So you got karaoke microphones right here. More whack-a-mole. But you got to check out this guy who flirts with you. Henri. Oh, turn on Henri Jen. He speaks French and gets from there. Oui, oui. Give my words a share. It is better to keep your mouth short and be thought a fool than to flap your mouth and remove all doubt. You even get a Zoltar the fortune. Just more pearls of wisdom for you. And you get the Uncle Sam squeezer thing. Yeah, quarters, more thrones, and there's an Xbox room. So it gives you, yeah, you pull your fortune, and oh, I didn't pull mine. There it is. It comes out. And then it gives you a little fortune. See how fun. But you got the Xbox room right here for the Xbox lover in you. And it sleeps like six people. I mean, down to the bathroom, you guys. Spray station. So awesome. Each one of these beds actually has a monitor that you can play either your own game or together. There's a console in the closet mm -hmm. that you can select, you know, who's playing what. Right, you can play by yourself individual games or all together as a group, but you can. I mean, it has all the directions, everything, not difficult, but it's so, so fun. I mean, if you got a bunch of kids, teenagers, adults that like the game, big Xbox fan, then they'll live in the Xbox room then. So, very fun. Francais. And then my favorite up here is the operation room. Oh my gosh, so much fun. You got all these different things. This is the, uh, the operation 2.0 because it's the back. So you want to make sure... Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Jen, don't drop the tongs. Here, Rob. Here's another phone, look. Since you can't be trusted. Mm -hmm. But look, it works. This is amazing. Okay. Surgical. Yay, God, Rob got Boom. it. Boom, that's how it's done. You got all your TV doctors. Addison Montgomery. Yes, Grey's Anatomy. You got Baby Yoda Operation. Again, it sleeps six people. You got all the different versions of Operation on the wall. Fully functional. You can definitely play it. Mindy Kaling. The Great McSteamy, of course, uh, George Clooney, ER, Nip Tuck there, uh, Christian Troy, Izzy Stevens, why not use Meredith? And then from um, Scrubs, the ankle bones connected to the leg bone, very fun. So this is the operation room, it even has like the operating room tile. All right, you want to do the... The twister room, and then last but not least is our awesome. Yeah, we can turn it off now. <laughs> Perfect. We're good. And then we have the twister room right here. Amazing. And you play twister with the fan up there. There's a little pole. You just boop it lightly. Otherwise, you'll be spinning for days. That's it. And then you pick. That's how you play twister. Giant, and then it's got a great view of the pool and the outdoor area. We'll go out there really quick and show you guys everything. But there's a water slide here, you guys, and a lazy river. This house has its own lazy river, and they provide you with all the pool toys and everything. There's a bridge, and there's games outside. There's basketball, whack-a-mole, um, soccer, darts, um, a bonfire, so you could barbecue and roast marshmallows, make s'mores. There's another human-sized 
uh, game out there. Oh, and it's a Murphy bed. Quickly, quickly. Yep. <laughs> yep, it's a Murphy bed. Oh, they took the bed. Uh, uh, yeah, it's a Murphy bed. So that's how the bed is here. All right, and then of course you've got the air hockey. And this is a laser tag room, you guys. So it's got the green glow light here, all the different laser tag games. There's a laser maze where you try to be like Catherine Zeta Jones and go through all the different lasers. Um, and the laser that's chop. laser chop. There's laser tag. The fog is de decreased now, but you got to let it percolate. Instructions are all here. Again, if you do the challenge, you can save another 50 bucks on your next stay. All everything's provided for you, but the whole you'll just have to watch my IG story. But yes, this is the laser tag room, and everything is all laser tag themed. All right, awesome. I think we got everything up here. There's also ski ball outside, and I think we're good. Right there, you got ski ball, and then kind of show you the outside from here. We'll go outside really quick. There's a water slide, so if you want to slide down in all the games, it's like on 10 acres, you guys. The little tub, and there's a kitchen downstairs as well. It's called Great Escape Parkside. Check out the website in the description box below. And definitely hang out and check it out. Play ski ball up here. Let's go do the outside because let's do it. <laughs> but this is the interior of the house and we'll do a quick. Okay. Awesome. All right. And then let's do the outside. But this is just the upstairs, you guys. Like, it'll take days just to finish the upstairs. It's amazing. So much fun. This is like Rob's house. Like, I mean, literally Rob loves games, you know. We play video games, bo I mean, bo board games all the time. So much fun. All right, we're going to go outside. It's the best part. So much fun. So much fun. All right. <laughs> so it's got an outdoor kitchen. So if you want to cook, all the remotes are here. So you're going to turn on all the lights, the bubbles, everything, water feed. You're just leave, turn everything on. You got ping pong tables. You got puns everywhere. Burger time 2.0. We got a big barbecue. We could be barbecuing. They even got a big old, um, there's games out here as well that you can play. Game table TV, you can watch the game. Puns everywhere. There's the entrance to the pool bathroom, remember? And here's the uh, jacuzzi for 20. So you could fit like 20 people in this hot tub. The water is heated, y'all. Remember? About the lazy river. That's, yeah, I did. I was going to show that to them in a minute. But yeah, this is where we were up there where the ski ball thingy is. It was so much fun. All the pool toys. Yeah, we were playing with it already. Going wild with it. So yeah, we were, you can, you can get on the lazy river. There's a lot of places to get in. It's like a pool, a billiards table. See, it's billiards theme and it's heated just like a Disney pool. You guys, it's 85 degrees. It's warm. It's like bath water. So cute. 85 degrees. 85 degrees. It is bath water. So, so good. And you got, you can use football, all the, all the floaties you can have at it. Lay out big old table here to, have your barbecue. There's a second barbecue if you need it. But you could, that's why it like, you could have a whole party, tables, tables. You could do a whole corporate event, ping pongs right here. Um, I was even like walking through the thing right here and you can just walk the whole pool because, you know, she don't want to get in at the moment. <laughs> uh, yeah, exit by the, it's on 10 acres. So there is a basketball court right there. And you just blow it up. You just press a button and it'll inflate it for you. So we'll show you guys all that footage that we, we did all that earlier else too for Instagram. But basketball court, half court basketball, whack-a-mole. Um, you climb in, it's like a bounce house. The darts, the soccer darts are super fun. Fire pit. And there's a fire pit. Yeah, there's that. There's a fire pit so you could make some s'mores. Checkers over there. I love the giant board game. We'll walk you guys through over there. But you can enter any of the pockets. The corners, you know, like especially the stairs is in that corner. And there's another one in the opposite corner. So this is the Great Escape uh, Parkside. It's in Claremont, in Claremont, Florida. Very common. It's like by four corners. A lot of people live it's around here. Land. Yeah, it's it's, oh, it's officially Groveland, but it's right next to Claremont, Groveland. Um, you know, a lot of vacation rentals. is an awesome, awesome vacation home. It is beautiful. It's a retreat. 
it's a whole attraction. Oh, there's pool tables. I mean, like this patio alone. If you want to lay out, you can lay out. If you want to play games out here, and the weather's so good right now. They're surrounded by all these beautiful trees. Super private. It's on a private road. It's all private. It's like a private estate, you guys. It's like you could be in your own episode of Cribs. Um, so, so cute. And you have all of this. See the billiards? Yeah, it's beautiful outside. I mean, you know Floridians, we don't get in the water unless it's like totally, yeah, and goes right down, right into the pool. The water's warm. Come on in. The bumper's right here. See, your choice. Do you want to go into the, in the Lazy River, you can see the current. The current runs pretty fast. You want to pop one of those rings in so just show them how fast the current's going? Just pop one of the pool, just one floaty. I want to see it. But yeah, this is really cute. It moves pretty fast. You can see the current is going around the Lazy River. Just grab yourself a cocktail and bob along. Does That's what I like to do. Like, it reminds me of the MGM Grand in Vegas. Or keep going down the water slide and make a big boom and a big splash out here. Super duper fun. So, hey there. Yes, it is awesome. Smash that like button. If you haven't already, showing you all the different places that you could stay. Alternative to the resorts that you could definitely get more bang for your buck, you guys. I mean, the resorts these days aren't <laughs> the most uh, budget friendly. But you definitely get so much for, you know, what you pay for compared to everywhere else. All these games are included. The amenities are just excellent. And if you are, like, you are game lovers, this would be really great for big families. Uh, corporate events, anything like that. Like, we like this kind of thing. Rob loves board games. It's kind of what we do. I mean, when Scott and Vicky were here, we would play, um, what it was that villainous and horrified. We would play board games all the time at night. So you got a bridge right here, but it's in Groveland, Florida. So it's kind of like towards Claremont, Four Corners area. But this is more like a definite stay and staycation. Be like in Vegas and then you have all these tiki, tor tiki torches as well. And these are very easy to pop up. You just turn them on in the back and boom, it explains each game for you. And then the inflatables inflate like that in like less than five minutes. So, and the weather's perfect right now because it's not too hot. There's no bugs. It's beautiful. There's a whole board game right there as well. And you could play Connect Four, all of that good stuff. But here's the back side. Here's the side view of the water slide. Rob's just chilling like a villain. Oh, exactly. I would not sleep. This is amazing for like, it'd be awesome for a big family reunion. Just hanging out with the fam. You know what I'm saying? Or like get a whole bunch of friends. I mean, you can sleep up to 50 people here. It's 15 bedrooms, 13 and a half, 13 13 bathrooms. There's a lot of bathrooms and a lot of bedrooms. So you got plenty of room for everybody. You could do multiple families. That's why I'd be great for like family reunions or just like friends. All sorts of stuff. And you climb up here. You just got to lay back. And I'll show you the top of the... There you go. Yeah, it's in Groveland, Florida. Right here. So beautiful. It's all game theme. It's just meticulous, beautiful. Tells you right here, no more than one. Yeah, just be safe. And the maximum is 225. So there you go. Just be careful. And you can climb up the stairs. And we're going to get on a. It's like not. It's a real water slide, y'all. It's not just a baby slide into a pool. This is a full on water slide. They're lining up the pit break shot to splash open this wreck. Let's get it started. There you go. It was just like the water slide. Perfect. Well, it is. It keeps the water off. Like, it keeps your feet dry. It's the same type of staircase normally because, you know, you got to keep your, keep it dry so you don't fall down. But that's the view from up here. It's super right. gorge. Super go. gorge. And there so is the, the pool game right there. Let's get it started. Well, I'm not going in, y'all. I'm not wearing a... No, I'm not doing it. 
staying dry at the moment. It's kind of chilly a little bit, but this is giant soccer pool. So, you know, we can take you guys out there too and blow them up to show you how fast they blow up. You want to just, we'll just walk out there, honey, and you want to blow up the soccer pool? Okay. All right, and we'll show them that too. And that way you kind of got the whole outdoors. I spent a lot of time out here when we first got here because I love the outside. The weather's perfect right now, you guys. No bugs. It is now winter in Florida, so it's getting chillier. Sun's going down, thankfully. A little sprinkle earlier, but, you know, and you just go out right here. It's right by the pool area. I just love the Lazy River. I just lay in that thing all day. Boop, 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 boop. Just go out. And out we go. I mean, look how beautiful it is it out here. It's gorgeous. Volleyball. There's a vol volleyball right there, so you could play volleyball. Again, it is greatescapeparkside.com. That is the website. It'll also give you all the FAQs that you need. There is so much parking. See, I mean, there's parking like this. They got their own parking lot here. Like, huh? There's also hammocks out there if you want to just lay out and swing. There are hammocks out there. There's so much parking. It's got their own parking lot. Again, if you're having that many people. All right, how we turn this bad boy on? Right here, honey, just turn on the timer. Huh? Nope. Now my wacky lady guy. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> That's a new TikTok dance, y'all. And see, it's blowing up. Just going here. It's it's starting to blow up. It's very fast. So it's soccer, soccer pool. You got to rack them. But it's so gorgeous out here, you guys. It's just beautiful. And this would be a great place to stay if you're planning, like, maybe do a few days at the parks and then... I, and then stay and just enjoy all the amenities and just have a great time. There's other stuff to do at Disney and the, than just Disney or the theme parks, you know. It's really, really great, especially if you're local or you're just planning a big... You need a house that'll fit the whole family. I mean, this fits up to like 50 people if you cram everybody. And there's 15 bedrooms. As you see, all the bedrooms are... See all the beds and all of that. So you can sleep up to like 50 people in this house. So... Everything is on that website again. So, so, so easy. Great Escape Parkside. They have other properties too that aren't quite as huge. There's, uh, the other side is Lakeside. This side is Parkside. They also have like the Sweet Treats house, the Ever After house, and then they have a new, like a French, like Beauty and the Beast themed house or different properties that they have that are all super duper themed. So. Yeah, you just basically take off the rack and then you do pool, but with a soccer ball. Doing awesome. Perfect. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so, and then you just turn it off. That's on a timer anyway. So, so he'll turn off by himself. That's on a timer as well. So easy peasy. Like, you don't have to do anything. It, it blows up really fast. It, I just to show you how fast it just, you know, inflates. You just, boop, you just turn it on and on it goes. But all this grass, you know, we're just walking. Yeah, of course, this is the never be board game. So it's like a board game within a board game. There's like, you start here, the rules are all right here. So you're like a human play piece. And then you can play Connect Four if you land in one of these, or you could go into battleship and battleship is right there jenga and then you have the lose your marble game this is the one where you pop the marble in and you demonstrate rob demonstrate you weeble wobble weeble wobble perfect well i hope he gets well soon excellent excellent but yeah tetherball battleship Lose your marbles, tether balls right over there. So you put the marble in and you gotta weeble wobble it. Oh, you did. Oh, oh, oh. Go this way. Go this way. Woo. The struggle is real. 
Just struggle. Oh, no, no. Oh, oh. Doing good, Rob. Doing good. Oh, Rob's killing it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He's doing good. But you kind of weeble wobble it. Well, then you definitely might not like this house because it's got like clue story. It's all got these classic games. So, Lose Your Marbles is one of them. You could do Connect Four and Yahtzee. Oh, oh no, Rob lost his marbles. Tether Balls right there. You got Hacky Sack right here on that pole. You got Jenga and Yahtzee. All the pieces are right under here. So, you're playing a game within a game. The weather is so perfect right now, you guys. And it tells you, if you play the game, this is what you do with that rule. Step on a crack. That one, Yahtzee. Played out, Jenga, switch places, uh, lose your marbles. So it has the rules all right in here. You know, step, step on a crack, two, you'll go back, and you play Connect Four. You know, basically, it's like tic-tac-toe, I guess. But, yep. So fun. Did you say Connect Four is like tic-tac-toe? It is. No. Isn't it? Like oh, no. Four. It's like Connect Four. Yeah. But it's like strategy. You kind of block each other or whatnot so you can't connect for. Same Z's. But yeah, this is on 10 acres. It's beautiful. But again, it's for a lot of these vacation rentals are that way. It's not for one family. You know, you definitely want to get a whole bunch of people here with you. This one is one of the larger events because one of the larger places because it sleeps 50 people. This has 15 bedrooms and stuff. So it's got 15 bedrooms. It sleeps up to 50 people, anywhere from 20 to 50. So there are smaller properties as well. So check out the website. They have all the different ones, maybe for your needs. There's checkers out here that you could play. It's a lot of fun. But if you see, a lot of the vacation rentals are kind of like that. But this is like above all of that in a way there's so much stuff to do in this house i love the bonfire you could just do your own fire pit you know s'mores tell ghost stories it was a dark and stormy night this is uh, and it just again pop them all on you'll see it on my ig i will get all of those reels up for you but this is dart that's whack-a-mole and there's a basketball court here is the back view of the property super super fun but i mean to stay at Disney's expensive. Of course, it's the same. <laughs> I mean, but you get so much more, right? I mean, you'll spend staying at the Grand Floridian for one night. <laughs> and that's a room in the Grand Floridian. You know what I mean? Like, if you get a room at the Grand Floridian, it'll be over $1,500 a night. And that's a hotel room. It's just a hotel room. <laughs> it doesn't have, it has a bathroom and some beds. But, you know, like, it's more like, what do you get for your buck? It would be definitely a staycation type of place. But here's a half-court basketball court, and it's a lot of fun. Definitely, definitely. But this is something you definitely can do while you're here. And, like, if you're looking into different vacation homes and we're just showcasing it to you guys, that way you can see what else is out there aside from staying in the parks. And there's so many of these super themed vacation homes around here in Orlando. And it's just, you know, really fun. It's definitely to connect. I mean, if the one thing COVID has taught us, we learned a lot about playing a lot of board games and, you know, lose a lot of togetherness going on. So, get it, baby. There you go. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Of course, they have like, they have the uh, nice um the housekeeper. She was like, getting everything tidied up. You know, they get it all set up and beautiful and finishing. You know, cleaning it up and making it perfect, ready for guests. But definitely check out Orlando um, Luxury Rentals. But it, the website's down in the descri the description box. If you just go to the Great Escape Parkside and just go to the menu. It tells you, has pictures, videos, everything about the house, and then all their other properties too. So maybe you don't need a property this big for your family reunion or corporate event or girls weekend or guys weekend, bachelor party, bachelorette party, uh, post wedding party. You know, it'd be perfect if you say you did four days at Disney, hopped all the parks, you're exhausted, 
spend the next few days in an awesome vacation rental like this to to like relax, unwind, barbecue, and just play games and have fun and be together. It'd be amazing, you know? Because after all that going, 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 your feet are going to be on fire. It'd definitely be so cozy to cuddle up in the movie theater, watch some movies, play some video games, or you don't need your own water park. You got one right here. So, <laughs> and the pool is heated. Again, heated is key. Floridian, it's not going to be like, woo, frozen. You know what I mean? Super fun, super fun. Oh, yeah, well, it's Florida, babe. We've got a lot of grass, and this is the suckers on 10 acres, so it's very big. Um, yeah, the water is nice and toasty. I love the lazy river. I would just sitting on this lazy river, or you can fit a whole bunch of people in this hot tub and be hot tubbing, watch the game, all sorts of good stuff. So again, that is the whole thing. Um, is there any other room that you guys wanted to see again or anything like that? Let me know and we'll check it out. I'm gonna go back in here to try not to hang out with the copyrighted music. Woohoo! Perfect. It smells so delicious in here. Again, it is perfect. Big kitchen. This is all the downstairs. Uh, maybe go cuddle up in the in the theater, watch a movie. But yeah, that's kind of the whole kit and caboodle. So yeah, I showed you guys. That's how we started. We started at the front. So it's a giant house. Um, yeah, it has the porch and everything. That's the front door. Oop! Am I knocking things down? I am. Yeah, it's got the porch. It's got the porch and everything, so it's just like I showed you guys. Hopscotch and Yeah, they have a hopscotch and four square right in the front. It's just your beautiful, typical, it's just like the back. The front is just like the back. <laughs> the address is right there where you guys saw it. Um, yeah, we're going to go hang out, have a good, good time, and hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, we got more stuff on the IG story coming up, so... But yeah, it's super fun. It's definitely more for like a lot of people. It's like what, 50 people. So it's, you know, 20, almost 20 to, 50 people. 20 to 50 people. I mean, and they are booked out at least a year in advance, they said, because they're pretty much booked up for yeah. a year. So definitely plan ahead. It's not like a last minute thing. They have bookings even to up to 2024 now. They're amazing. Um, they're great folks. And yeah, I'm glad you guys had a good time. Um, check everything out. Rewatch the video if you haven't already. Um, and then we're going to put up some more stuff on Instagram so you guys can see that as well in short form. But thank you for hanging out with us. Oh, again, hope you guys enjoyed, you guys enjoyed it. Um, we did change our Christmas party to the 11th. Sorry, I had a little tummy ache and I didn't want to be at the party basically when my stomach wasn't doing well. But anyway, I will see you guys tomorrow because it is Magical Monday tomorrow. Hard to go to the theme park nowadays when there's a party going on because everything closes at six yeah so we'll definitely see you tomorrow at the magic kingdom so All now right. it's your turn to make some magic comment, comment like, like subscribe. and subscribe give us a thumbs up if you haven't already go ahead and check out this property at greatescapeparkside.com thank you guys so much and have an awesome sunday love you all so much Ooh. all right bye